matter what you think about Hulk Hogan, controversial athlete and actor, headline-making reality TV star, the guy was a game-changer in the world of professional wrestling. But tonight, in the midst of a racial slur scandal, he's fighting to repair his legacy, opening up exclusively to ABC's Amy Robach about the fallout and the path to forgiveness. Hulk Hogan's here! Hulk Hogan is in the building! With his signature leg drop, horseshoe mustache, and unrivaled strength, 12-time world champion Hulk Hogan single-handedly transformed wrestling into a global phenomenon. Unbelievable! Today, he's fighting outside of the ring to maintain his legacy. Could we stop for a second? Terry Bollea, the man behind the once indestructible Hulkster, letting his guard down. Out of everything that I've been through, this one hit me probably the hardest, and that's a heck of a thing to say, because I've been through a lot of crazy stuff. Including an admission of steroid use and his son's legal issues. But last month, a new controversy which threatens to erase his legacy. The National Enquirer reports that Hogan used racial slurs in audio secretly recorded. I was at the lowest point of my life. My personal life was destroyed. I was very mad at my daughter. I was upset over a situation that happened between her and her boyfriend, and I had no idea I was being taped. I was to the point where I wanted to kill myself. I sat in my bathroom by myself when my ex-wife was gone and the kids were gone, and I was completely broken and destroyed, and I said, what's the easiest way out of this? I mean, I was lost. You were suicidal? Yes, I was. Father's Day card for Brooke? No. A stark contrast okay, from the Hulk, whose upbeat and tight-knit family was portrayed over four seasons of the reality show Hogan Knows Best, where he was overprotective of his only daughter, Brooke. I mean, I'm almost 18, and I haven't even had a boyfriend yet. Well, that's good. That's the way I want it. But according to the National Enquirer, he refers to his daughter's then-boyfriend using the N-word. Do you have any personal preference who ethnically your daughter dates? No, I don't. Actually, the guy my daughter was dating, I liked him a lot. I'd known him for quite a while, and I was very mad at a personal situation that happened with my daughter. Are you a racist? No, I'm not. I'm not a racist. I never should have said what I said. It was wrong. I'm embarrassed by it. But a lot of people need to realize that you inherit things from your environment. And where I grew up was South Tampa, Port Tampa. And it was a really rough neighborhood, very low income. And all my friends, we greeted each other saying that word. We teased each other with that word. The word was just thrown around like it was nothing. Is it fair to say that you inherited a racial bias? I would say that is very fair. But you can break the cycle. And that's what everybody needs to know. You can break this cycle and become a better person, become who you're meant to be instead of who you're supposed to be. Following these allegations, the WWE fired Balea. The legendary career he spent a lifetime building wiped out. I was totally shocked because I've, I've worked with the WWE for almost 30 years off and on, and then all of a sudden, everything I've done, my whole career, my whole life, was like it never happened. Your image, your likeness, your name erased. Yeah, like I'd never existed. That had to hurt. Oh my gosh, it was devastating. It just, it destroyed me. I mean, I just... I, I don't know how to say it other than that. It was my whole life. Many industry bigwigs have come to his defense. Dwayne The Rock Johnson states, I've known Terry for a lot of years. I had not known the man to be racist. George Foreman says, I do not condone the language he used, but he is no racist. He is a good guy. Even Hogan's daughter, Brooke, chimes in. Your daughter posted a beautiful poem oh. on Facebook. If you knew the dad I knew, you'd know he raised me well. He taught me folks are so much more than shades could ever tell. Yeah, and if anybody should have disowned me, it should have been her. You know, she should have been the one. She should have been the one to throw me out like uh, the trash, but instead she showed me more love than anybody. What did Brooke say to you? Well. Could we stop for a second? Yeah. All right. Okay. How has Brooke helped you through this? She's been so supportive. She was the direction of my attack. You know, I was not so mad at her boyfriend. I was mad at her, you know? And she 
she instantly said, I, I don't even need to forgive you because I'm not mad at you. I love you, you're my dad. For fans who feel let down by you, mm -hmm. do you ask their forgiveness? Oh my gosh, please forgive me. Please forgive me. I'm a nice guy. It's not, you know, not the Hulk Hogan that rips the shirt off and bang, 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 slams giants. The Hulk, whose worth is estimated to be between eight and fifteen million dollars, is currently embattled in a landmark one hundred million dollar lawsuit against Gawker after they posted a two minute graphic excerpt of an unauthorized sex tape. The Hulk's lawyer speaking out on his client's behalf about the lawsuit. This has everything to do with the invasion of privacy of a private citizen for no good cause other than for them to make money. Gawker maintains the tape is newsworthy given Hogan talks so often about his sex life. For now, the man once known for his superhuman strength is relying on his inner power, wrestling with turning this negative into a positive. Just because a person makes a mistake, just don't throw them away. You don't throw good people away. If Everybody at their lowest point was judged on one thing they said, and all of a sudden your whole career was wiped out today because of something you said 10 or 20 years ago. It'd be a sad world. People get better every day. People get better. For Nightline, I'm Amy Robach in New York.